you are one of the you are the lead in Cenerentola, yes. right? In the upcoming Rossini production. Right. How did you get the role? How? <laughs> Actually, I was very very fortunate. It just came. Right. I w I joined as a, a substitute. Yeah. Then, and uh, one of the mezzo soprano. Uh, had to go on a yeah. holiday. <laughs> I, I I don't really know the situation. But yeah. um, then I became one of the yeah. So did you know the role that what the role uh, would require you to do yes. in terms of the number of notes yes. that you had to sing? Yes. Uh, okay. Especially uh, coloratura. Yes. yes. Did you count the notes? <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can give a report, you know. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, I no should. one knows how many notes there are in this role, but yeah. yeah, you can help us with that. Yeah, probably. Were you apprehensive or this? Huh? Well, I I really wanted to try the, this a uh, uh, lot of runny notes. Yeah. Then, just recently, I started um, training the coloratura, so I was yes, I got to try. Yes. Did you look forward to the acting? Did you do, do yes. much of the acting? Yes. That was what you wanted to do? Yes, definitely. <laughs> you, you just can't wait to be the servant girl, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, too much of um, Yeah, the good life or... has gotten to you, so yes. no, enough, enough. Enough, enough. Let's be yeah. a servant, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, I just love all the music. <laughs> okay. Yes, and then especially the ensembles, they are so fun. Yeah. Of course, very challenging because it's speed, mm -hmm. because of the speed and a lot of notes. Of course, it is so challenging, but it's so fun. Every single ensemble has different character. Psychologically, how do you get into your role? Um, because it's so famous story, and actually, this. Oh, how do I put it? It's, it's quite natural for girls, I would say. To play a servant's role. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's some someone who's dreaming about something. A prince. Yes. I don't know, a better life, yeah. Yes, and that will come true. Tell us your uh, process for learning a role. Are you one of those who listen to a thing over and over and just let it come in or... Yes. You do that? Yes. Yeah, I, I learn, I, yeah, I learn yes. things that way too, yeah. I familiar, familiarize yeah. uh, with music first. Yes. 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 Do you work out how you relate to each of the characters in, in the show? I think you have a close relationship with the father in some way. Mm -hmm. And of course the prince. Mm -hmm. Of course, princess and prince has a big relationship but also with the, the magician Alidoro also have um, yeah this. how about your um, love scenes mm -hmm. with the prince mm -hmm. are they difficult to do because I think throughout the opera you really have one only one scene where you can be quite intimate yes yeah, yeah. really yeah. in the beginning so what is that scene like in this production can you give it away well, it's it's not really uh, no no contact really. Really, okay. Because the stage Children, director. Huh? Children, Children yes, in the yes, audience. of course. No, the stage <laughs> staging director told us to wait. Wait. Wait, because okay. we need to go through all whole opera. To and get then close. you kiss at the end, right? I uh, we, we no. still don't know. It's still okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe keep it secret. Yes. Okay. Till the show. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you want to know whether they kiss at the end, come to the show. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Yoko. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes.